Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Apparently we got a text from our uh, generous uh, donor and friend, Johnny Sticks. I want us to review these. Review these. This is one of my birthday presents. They come in a mezo, in a pa brown paper bag. These are the Brick House Fumases. Now I had a Fumas last night and I actually did not have any plans to review this because I was going to hoard every stick. Mm -hmm. So now Aaron owes me a stick to replace that one. That's all right. I can take care of that. So, anyways, first thing I'm going to say about this is I really like the band on this. It blends in with the cigar. and It's kind of a thin paper, but um, I don't know. There's just something very attractive about it. And uh, it, it reminds me very much of the Kentucky Fire Cured Muwat. Uh, is there rapper. any Brick House Food Mosses in Maduro? Or No, they come in one type. Now, the only thing I could find about the Brick House Fumas is that the tobaccos that are included are from the original Brick House lines. Probably a mix. And it doesn't say what the wrapper is or any of that stuff. So, uh, however, I didn't do a very thorough search. Um, Cigar.com is where I was looking at information on it. Well, that's Bye. good to know, Siegfried. Anyways, kind of a fruity oak smell. It's a lot of oak hay, but there's a fruity scent. If it's containing a lot of the tobaccos that are in the brick house, we're right there. So, uh, it, oh, it's a J.C. Newman, by the way, for those who didn't know. I don't know what you're looking for. I wanted to see that up there. Um, the description thing. This is uh, the regular. The re regular brick house is Nicaraguan long fillers uh, and a Havana Subido wrapper, which this is obviously not. This is darker. Uh, but it's essentially Nicaraguan tobacco, so Rita wouldn't let me read all of it. No, I was not clicking on the Fumas. I was looking at these. So. I know, yeah. it, what it says is brick house uh, Fumas are handmade in Nicaragua and contain a mixed filler blend of the same tobaccos contained in the current brick house. So, that is all. Click on details, see if there's anything else there. Uh, it says it's a sun-grown wrapper with Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan fillers. Okay. So it's a Nicaraguan Puros. Yeah, as long as the wrapper is sun-grown in Nicaragua. Anyways, after the smells, uh, which as I said was kind of a oat with sweet kind of or uh, oat and hay with some type of fruity. Um, not as much smell off the foot. Now, I don't know what Rita's doing. She's checking emails now. I got a smell, but look, you. Oh, yeah, a Camacho ashtray. I, free I when you buy a box for the Power Band. I don't want to try the Power Band. Uh, I apologize. We'll have to get off her butt in a minute and get in some slit. So, um, when I was sniffing this last night, I didn't pick up any scents. None whatsoever. But I can't tell is that you. Because you have no scents? I can tell you this cigar is fabulous. I'm going to use my new lighter, a Zycar, with my free sheet that's coming. Uh, thank you, Johnny Sticks. This is really cool. Initial flavors kind of remind me of a little lemon pepper seasoning, but I don't care if we need to rotate in this in the bottom section. There you go. Now you're lit. There you go. You're lit. Nice lighter, I tell you. Very nice. I'm just afraid I might lose my lighter one day. Is someone pinching you, possibly? Put my letter back on there. For everyone out there, including you, Johnny Sticks, yes, we have your cup on our table. Johnny Sticks donated uh, nub cafes with like six nubs, six to eight nubs in the cup itself, four by sixties. I'll be reviewing those soon. When I first got my birthday present, uh, the nubs, 
I was so excited, I smoked one. And then Aaron says, no, I can't review that with him. Yep. <laughs> I was being selfish, like Johnny yep. Stick saying. No, you didn't even want to share one of these with me, out of being selfish. Well, yeah, because, um, you know, you said you had these in uh, Toros. No, I have never tried the Fumas. I thought I might have a Fumas at home, and I don't have a Fumas at home. I want to say a uh, nice shout out to Josh, or Josh, as you know, some people yeah, say. Yeah, we know that Josh likes Brick House. Um, He's always. I, I told, him you, he I, I told Josh that these were um, fairly budget and uh, that he should give them a try. And. Uh, well, now we're getting to review them, so we'll let you know how they are. I'm getting cedar and toasted uh, tastes of uh, honey, toasted nuts, and oats with um, a little honey. So it's got I've got a little bit of suck through, which is rare. Some tobacco coming loose in the back. Um, yeah, there's a sweetness to it. Not uh, too much, though. Kind of more honeyish, uh, with a bit of hay flavor. And Moppy's eating his pot. Stop that. There. That was quite good so far. We'll have to see how this progresses. Um, get into the halfway point here, but there's some kind of smoky notes, and it's overall tasty. I, I'm so far quite pleased with it. What are you doing? Fixing it to even it out. Once you fix it with this lighter, even it out, and, and you leave it the way it's supposed to, it actually uh, it actually uh, works nicely, and I don't have any fixes. Didn't have any fixes in the office today when I was... Uh, Plugging away at a project. So. For some reason, I felt like a Muppet named Beaker. Well, anyways, shall we go? Yes, yeah, halfway point, and we'll get back to you. See you shortly. Hello, and welcome to the halfway point. Or in Rita's case, beyond halfway point. I don't know how she's managed that. Um, this is going very slow for me. Um, more, more mild flavors than I have experienced with the other two brick houses. Um, nice finish, a little bit of honey sweetness, a um, little bit of uh, leather and cocoa, and a tad bit of espresso, but it's all mildly gelled together, and it's quite enjoyable to me so far. Just no words? All right, well, uh, there you have that. We'll get back to you, I guess, in the final third. Should probably be done with hers, or we'll do two final thirds like we've done in the past, too. Uh, I guess during my final third, so see you shortly. Hello, welcome back to the final third of this Brickhouse Fumas. Rita is nearly done, and I've just reached where I'd be comfortable saying it's final third. I'm liking the fact that this has changed again. It's got some nutty notes now, but it still has some cedar notes. It has just a hint of honey, but the honey's dissipated from earlier. Uh, it's had a nice progression to it. And for a 6x60, it's chock full of flavor, and it's affordable. So I would definitely give this a recommendation. Um... I don't know. We still got to upload my birthday video reviewing an Ashton, um, which is ready. I just got to get it uploaded. Um, some of you out there, usually I uh, try to do something with my hands when it comes to let the cigar slow. Like earlier, I had a, a different cigar and I enjoyed it while working. But my neck's hurting and my back's hurting, so I'm kind of getting cranky and moody. But I'm also um, um, stressing. And there's a couple reasons for it. And so I smoke faster. Yeah. And that we, we got news. Can you, Sorry. 
don't interrupt me. So, couple things is, as you all know, and I'm not going into details, as you all know, a lot of you, including you, Johnny Sticks, I appreciate it, understood we had to leave the state for my first surgery. I have another one coming up in October, which means Aaron's going to be here watching the dog and doing some other stuff. The reason for the change of travel plans, and that worries me because I never travel alone, is that um, it's probably just on your birthday. Like it, on my birthday, I got a call, which, first of all, I didn't think I was uh, still on a list. We were looking to move to a bigger city where we'd have access to one smoke shop, Moses Lake, uh, a plethora of stores, restaurants, uh, you name it, and uh, you know, on my birthday, and this is, came from Jesus, that an opening is coming available this month, and that means I gotta pack, I gotta do everything. I enjoy the cigars, but that means for the next couple months, me and Aaron's gonna be packing and not focusing so much on cigar reviews, and um, and uh, I'm still getting my birthday present next month, no matter what, for myself. And I'm worried about a lot of different things right now because of of the this move. I mean, it's a bigger a bigger city, and uh, as Aaron was saying to me, the uh, hospital is threatening to shut down the clinic and the ER. Yet the clinic's newspaper ad this week said that they're taking new patients, but the uh, ER is being threatened. Our hospital's four million, five million in the hole. They've asked for a one million dollar loaner on the citizens' ballot this month on uh, or the, this election. And I'm voting against it if I'm here. But if I'm not here, well, you know, and I have to have, once I move, I have to get all my IDs, everything changed, as well as, and that costs money unless they can change the ID. ID, and I don't mind an updated photo. But I don't like my old photo. But then again, a lot of people don't like the driver license photos and IDs. But I got to change all of it, phone calls galore. I have to change the internet provider. I have to do all this. And, uh, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal living here in the town we're living in. But it's going to be kind of complicated. Plus, my surgery's coming up. Aaron ain't going to be there. And uh, I got to take a taxi from the bus from the local college home and I've never traveled in a taxi by myself except for when um, I was over in uh, on the coast where we call Seattle area so the coast so um, so it, it's just a lot going on through my mind and uh, it, it's just been very hectic and it, it is a lot to take in I mean here we have a grocery store that has a tendency to have rotten food. In fact, I even brought it to their attention. They said, we have people that come here for our dated food. They sell it more expensive than a local gourmet store in the next town over. Uh, really? People are going there to buy dated cheese that's expired by a year and prices a dollar more than the other grocery store if they just went a town away? Then we have a grocery store here in town that says, the service dogs are a health code violation and we can't have dogs in the store. And I talked to the uh, health inspector and they said, we never told him that. And this guy gets so discriminated We were forced to go to that store because of the fact that they basically surrounded us with the uh, employees as if we were going to be some type of trouble. Uh, we the, 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 this little baby was discriminated many times on our travels, too. Like, the lady asked uh, on an airline to kick him and Moppy off. So, when we were in Denver. So, the, the so we'd have a grocery store a block from our house that's a good quality grocery Safeway. store. We'd have uh, two pharmacies within about a block of our new place. Uh, we have the police station there in the back is, they door. Count that right in. You have work source right next door. Lots of grassy areas. Almost everything has sidewalks. Uh, here in Quincy, where we currently live, uh, it's said that we have gang problems. I've never really seen any gang problems, but 
Mo, uh, the Moses Lake, the city we're looking at moving to, doesn't have any of those issues. Our doctors are in Moses Lake. We got to get up at four in the morning to go to our doctors to have a ten o'clock appointment, and it's a four-hour bus ride to get there. And Rita said that she didn't like the idea of going four hours by bus, but uh, to see her doctors in Wenatchee, but. It'd be the same if we were going to see our doctors in Moses as it is now. And we tend to see the doctors in Moses more than the ones in Wenatchee. But, you know, um, I, also, uh, she wants to fish, and there's year-round fishing at the local lake that's got an area that you could fish. You lost your seat. I uh, got an area that you could fish that's only about a, two blocks from where we'd be living. Uh... She now mentioned the cigar it. shop, but the cigar shop is okay. Now you got Moppy, who is not happy with his mama. He ran under the couch. Uh, and yeah, it's nice having the cigar uh, tobacco shop right there, but that's not a big deal. Also, on top of that, we're only like two blocks from the post office. Uh, everything we need is right there. We're almost in the heart of the town. Currently, there's nothing to do in the town that we live in. In fact, there's only one small park that's really in walking distance. Uh, there's another park that I go to. I've done, we've done videos there. But, you know, that's about three-quarters of a mile. So, uh, the, uh, the new place would have a park almost in its backyard. Uh, not to mention another park on a lake almost in the backyard. So... You got all that. Yeah, it's a smaller apartment, but you got a better hospital. You got the better doctors. You got You've, two hospitals, three hospitals. Yeah, there. exactly. So I think that it's almost something that we have to do. And I told her, uh, we've got the management here who said that she'd get together uh, her husband and this guy, who li a neighbor, uh, and they'd move us because, you know, they, they do the heavy lifting stuff. Uh, they have access to a truck. What's it going to cost us? Probably some gas and some food. But what do you do? The food is a thank you for helping us. Uh, probably be able to get everything moved in two days. Um, the only problem is that, as Rita said, if we move to Moses Lake, she's got Blizzard who uh, we have a person who can watch him where we are, but if we move to Moses Lake, we lose that person, so I'd have to stay behind and watch the dog. Or you'd have to board him for almost a week at $20 a day. Uh, and we just can't afford to board him and have me go, too. So, But he, is, but we have decided, even though it'll tap into our cigar money for November and part of Barrett's birthday, Layway's coming up next month for Walmart, so I'm setting him up some gifts. I know Aaron does the same for me, but uh, we will be boarding him because when I go back for a follow-up in November... And a follow-up wouldn't be a bad thing. We'd be going on like the uh, We'd be on the train 32, uh, you know, yeah, 32 hours. We've been uh, done it before, so we'd only have to board him like three days. That's 60 bucks. That's not too bad. We'd be planning on it, so, you know, not really a big deal. Um at least to go with the And, effort. you know, there is pros and cons. I'm just worried, and this is the thing I'm worried about, and I will get into it, is we're get, if we take this, and I have to, because, you know, it's a smaller place. I'm worried about moving. I'm worried about this. Um, I'm also worried because the manager of the other day, I think it was two days ago, it might have been Wednesday or something. Anyway, she... Uh, yeah, it was Wednesday. Uh, we filled out the information. We, we did get a background check. We had a problem way. when we moved in. I had a manager that was leaving the day I moved in, and they didn't take care of cleaning my apartment. It was being used as a storage space. Same with mine. Uh, and so she basically didn't care. She was leaving. So they didn't bother painting the walls. They didn't bother cleaning the carpets. They didn't bother stretching the carpet. They didn't, nothing was done in my apartment. And then uh, they moved everything from my apartment over to Rita's apartment, which was another staging ground. And Rita moved in a month later, and they basically just booked it out of there. And the day that they moved it out, uh, they were still cleaning up when we started moving her stuff in. They, again, didn't clean her apartment at all. Uh, Rita's afraid we won't get our deposits back. 
Bye. And financially, you know, they never, they, uh... And she's worried about having to pay two rents in one month. And a uh, deposit and everything else. I mean, that's going to hurt me to the point where I'm going to default on my uh, credit cards and bills because of this. I movie. don't think it'll make a big difference. As I said, they tend to do retroactive. You might have to pay your full month here, but you might end up having to only pay 90 bucks over there. And that wouldn't be bad. Well, we'll find out. We'll keep you all informed. It's just some fears I have. I have a phone call coming in in 20 minutes, so we better get this uploaded, fused, and prepared. Um, the next so, cigar I want to review will probably be another Ashton or something um, soon. Um, so our recommendation on this is it's a go, uh, especially at the affordability, the flavors, smoke output, construction. It's all very good. So with all that said, please add and subscribe, leave questions, comments, feedback, suggestions. If you've smoked the cigar and you agree or disagree, please leave your opinions down below. Just keep it nice is all we ask and enjoy, enjoy every, every puff. puff.